Before we get into our training video, if by chance you found this video as a recommended video on YouTube, this training video is actually part of an extensive Corel Draw for Beginners training series from AdvancedTShirts.com. We have developed dozens of videos and we also have available on our website downloadable work along files that you can work with in Corel Draw while you're working through the training videos. Easily the best and fastest way to learn. If these videos are helpful to you, please take a second to add a like to the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can be notified when we upload new video content. And of course, in the comment section below, you can post your questions or your Corel Draw video tutorial requests. In this video training session, we're gonna take a look at the Drop Shadow tool. This is another interactive and dynamic tool in Corel Draw for creating drop shadows. And drop shadows create like a shadow effect behind your design or your objects in Corel Draw to give them the illusion of having a shadow and thus giving depth to your design. And you can use them in many creative ways. I'll scroll down here and I have a drop shadow set up on this text. I'm going to go and select the drop shadow tool in the toolbox. Come over and click here. Now we can see the starting node. We can see our opacity slider. If I bring this down, you see that get darker. If I slide this up, you'll see it get lighter. Bring that back to the middle. Here is our starting node. And that's kind of constrained to the sides, the middle, the side, the bottom, and the top. Now you'll notice here from the middle that the fade and shadow and stretch are all grayed out. But they will become available if I move the starting node to the bottom. And now you can see that I can work with those. I can fade this out. Get my slider, pull that, and you'll see the fading start to take effect. But if I go back to the center, that'll be grayed out, but it'll be locked into what I had it set to. So that's how it works. And then from the ending node, we can move this and position it where we would like it. So I can come down here to the bottom and then position this like that. And it should be like the light coming from the back and the shadow going down this way or go to the center point and then start to drag this around be down to the right hand side. Now the fade works up here. This is set to 100 for this one. The fade is set to 100. The shadow stretch is set to 50. And the drop shot angle is set at 346. All of which is interactive and I can still work with this here. You see that fade out like that. So those are the basics of the drop shadow tool and we can use that just like the block shadow which we covered. I'll come here to the outline of the soccer ball text. I'm going to come up here in the center, click and start pulling down. Make sure I've got that selected first and then pull down and release. And you can see there's the drop shadow. Now I can adjust the drop shadow opacity up here in the property bar or I can do that interactively here left click hold down and that's going to get darker I can change the color if I wanted to go with a dark blue for the drop shadow I could do that come down into a shade of the blue select OK I can select the type of drop shadow Gaussian inside that disappears middle can see some of that outside it gets much bigger I'll set that back to Gaussian you can also adjust the feather if I increase that you'll see the effect it'll spread out if I want that to be tighter I can bring that back and I'll bring that opacity up and you can see the effect of that drop shadow I might want to bring that feather back out. Left click, hold down, let's say right about there. And the opacity up and that will make the effect even darker. And I could always go back and change that back to left click, select OK, 
and that'll be a black. So there's that drop shadow. Then we'll add one to the banner. Pump into the center, left click, hold down, pull. Now you can see I still had that selected and I didn't want that, so I'll hit Control Z. I have to left click first on the banner, then come up here into the center and start pulling down. And I can see about where the position of the drop shadow will be. I can place that there and I can change my opacity. Now one thing I can also do is when I'm creating the drop shadow, hold down control and that can strain that to straight vertical. Now that popped off, I'm gonna hit control Z. Hold down control to constrain that where I can see it and then release it. Change my opacity a bit darker and we can see the effect. So those are the basics of the drop shadow tool. You can work with that and experiment with that and you'll have it mastered in no time and have the ability to add the illusion of depth and shadows to your designs in CorelDRAW. We'll wrap here and we'll continue in our next video.